Hi, I'm Pete Gerlach. I'm the author of the nonprofit Break the Cycle educational website, which pre uh, presents eight self improvement lessons that I have learned from 31 years of being a professional family therapist and an observer of the human condition for seven decades. In this video, I want to introduce. Um, what is family therapy? There are lots of different opinions about this, different variations, but I want to give you some key fundamentals in case that's something that you might consider doing for all of your members. Let me start by proposing that families range from dysfunctional to functional, depending on how well they fill every member's needs. A need is a discomfort. All humans have needs all the time. Developmental needs, local needs, relationship needs, communication needs, physiological needs. We're all needy critters. Families are one of the best places that we can go to fill many, not all, of our needs. So families range from dysfunctional to functional. That's the reason family therapy exists. In my professional opinion, it's taken me 30 years to learn to say this, there are two broad reasons why families do not function well. The first is psychological wounds in the adults of the family, which they inherited from their wounded, ignorant ancestors. The second of two major causes for family dysfunction is ignorance. The adults in the family were never trained in some fundamental topics like how are personalities formed, how can people communicate and think effectively, how can family members grieve effectively, how can people intentionally choose healthy relationships, what does it take to build a healthy family, and how can people parent children effectively. I propose that family dysfunction often springs from adult ignorance of these six core topics. <clears throat> the whole purpose of my website is to provide education for interested people on these topics. So. Psychological wounds plus ignorance causes family dysfunction. Let's define therapy as a structural process which improves the function of a person or a relationship or a whole group of persons. That's a pretty loose definition, but therapy, if it's effective, will improve how any one of these functions, meaning how well they get their needs met over time. How do family thera therapists operate? They do two things. The first is they try to assemble as many members of a family as possible and they observe them interacting. Family therapists will ask a group of questions and watch how the family members behave together. Um, therapists are looking for things like, how do people communicate? How do people in this family problem solve? Who is aligned with who against whom? Are there alliances? Are the people excluded? Are people included? Who leads this family? Who makes the decisions? Who enforces the decisions? How does this family set up boundaries? Do they enforce their boundaries? If so, how? Does that work well? Are the boundaries open or closed? What are the subsystems in this family? What are the rules that govern this family? How clear are the members of this family on their roles, R-O-L-E-S? So family therapists study a lot of variables in an average family that most people are unaware of. That's why the whole profession exists because our society and our schools do not teach people how to run their own families. Therefore, we have specialists, just like 
you can't fix your car, so you hire a specialist. Um, you can't do your taxes, so you hire a specialist. That's what family therapists are. They have special knowledge of the complex dynamic operation of your family system. Once therapists assess how your family functions, which can take many weeks, by the way, it's not something that happens in a one hour session. It usually takes a number of sessions that build on each other. So as a therapist gains insight into how your family is functioning, what's working here, what's not working here? By not working, I mean what is hindering all members getting their needs met well enough. So as a therapist diagnoses or assesses a family system's function, then the therapist uses her or his knowledge to intervene and change the family system, hopefully in a way that makes it function better, meaning it helps members get their needs met more often in ways that feel good to everybody. That's the end goal. It's very complex. There are many layers to it. How do family therapists do this? They have, depending on their background and their training and their values, they have an array of options with which to help family members function better. A major uh, one is education. Frequently, therapists are teachers and they model and show members of a family how to understand their family, how the family operates, and how to improve their communication, their relationships, and their boundaries. So education is a major tool. Coaching is another tool that therapists use, which is showing people how to use new education, new information. So coaching and modeling is a tool. Confronting, respectful confrontation is a powerful therapeutic tool. Challenging people's opinions and values, assumptions and perceptions, and giving them new ways to see how they and their family are operating. A therapist that does little or no confrontation often is ineffective. Another tool that many therapists use is role playing. Getting people to, in a family to experience new things by having them take on different roles and try out new skills in the presence of each other and a therapist. <clears throat> so that's a tool that can be often very helpful. Many therapists, not all, use homework assignments. They say, okay guys, we've covered XYZ in our session here. <clears throat> now I'd like you to go home and practice XYZ. Come back in the next session and tell me what happened. So homework is a way of cementing and clarifying what people learn in the process of family therapy. The last major tool that I have a strong bias about, many of my colleagues will disagree with me, I believe an effective family therapist, one who brings about lasting improvement in how a family functions, is able fluidly to flip back and forth with family members between working with the whole family working with a subset of the family, like just parents and children, or just a married couple, or just siblings, working with subgroups, and being able to work with individuals. Many family therapists say, no, no, we only work with the whole family, we do not work with couples, or we do not work with individuals. That is for some other therapist. The best family therapist knows how to work with the whole family, subsets, and individuals, including kids. This is a tall order. It takes a lot of training, a lot of experience, a lot of learning. I say this because, as I said at first, one of two major reasons that families do not work well, which is the American norm, by the way, most families are dysfunctional. Uh, 
and the evidence of that is everywhere. All the social problems that we have, homelessness, abortion, depression, crime, uh, addictions, etc., etc., they all come from family dysfunction, in my opinion. You may or may not agree. So family therapists do well if they can diagnose and help individual adults in a family understand, accept, and heal their psychological wounds. That's one-on-one -on -one therapy. So it's woven into effective family therapy. <clears throat> Choosing an effective family therapist, if you have major trouble in your family, a lot of fighting, arguing, addiction, people uh, being hostile and aggressive or ignoring each other, family cutoffs, exclusions, black sheep, lots of evidence. Um, divorce is a major indicator. If you have major trouble in your family, take as much ch uh, trouble to pick a family therapist as you do your family doctor. Family therapists vary widely in their experience, their credentials, their licensure, uh, their background, the way they operate, there's lots of variations. To get an overview of how to pick an effective therapist, and whether to go for an individual therapist or a marital therapist, a child therapist, or a whole family therapist, see my article in my nonprofit website. Here's the link. It's part of lesson uh, four. Um, try that out also. Consider viewing some or all of the other videos here related to Lesson 4 in my nonprofit educational website. I again uh, mention these videos and my lessons come from 31 years of practicing as a veteran family therapist. I'm still learning. Uh, I hope you find this useful and thought-provoking. Thanks for watching.